Hey everyone, I have been thinking about doing an English lesson on rocks for a while and I am very excited to bring it to you today. Rocks are everywhere you look in life, from our rocky planet to the buildings we live in and the products and items that are part of our everyday lives. In this video, I will talk you through the different categories of rocks and the names in English of different rock materials. And get ready for lots of additional vocabulary in this video. As we discuss rocks, I will be highlighting lots of additional words for you. After the lesson, stay tuned for an extensive glossary on all these highlighted words, where you'll learn the definition of each word. So we've got lots to learn on rocks and English in this lesson. So let's get started. Our first category of rock is igneous rock. This word is a little tricky for English beginners. So let's try it one more time. Igneous rock. Where do we get this strange word? Igneous comes from ignus, which is the Latin for fire. So this may tell you something very interesting about these types of rocks. Igneous rock is formed by the cooling and solidification of lava or magma. Now you can see that we've highlighted two of these words which will be included in the glossary later in the video. Lava or magma is liquid rock which is superheated. This can also be known as molten rock. Scientists use the term magma for molten rock that is underground and lava for molten rock that breaks through the Earth's surface, like with a volcano. A common type of igneous rock is basalt. Basalt is used in many different ways in construction. Our next igneous rock is granite. Granite is really common in my home country of Ireland. It is commonly used to decorate kitchens and bathrooms, along with a myriad of other different types of buildings. Our next igneous rock is very popular in fiction, obsidian. I have seen this material used in many fantasy books as a special mystical material, but it's the same as every other igneous rock, I'm afraid. No magic here. Our next igneous rock is andesite, and this is used in lots of different construction and sculpture, like the buddy you can see on screen. Our next igneous stone is commonly used on the foot. It's also kind of a weird name for a rock. Pumice. This stone can be massaged on the skin to remove rough or dry skin. Our final igneous rock is peridotite. Repeat after me. Peridotite. You might never have heard of peridotite, but it is a source of lots of commonly known materials and metals, such as platinum, magnesite, and diamonds. Okay, it's time to move on to a different category of rock. This time we're looking at sedimentary rock. This word is full of syllables and a little bit tricky. Let's try it one more time. Sedimentary rock. So you may be asking yourself, what is sedimentary rock? These are rocks which are formed by layers of mineral and organic material that accumulate and under huge pressure transform into rocks. Now this takes a very, very long time, like millions and millions of years. And all these layers of organic matter, which are dead animals, dead plants, all build up over time and they transform into rocks. And sometimes we can see the imprint of these animals and plants in the rocks. And these are called fossils. The fossils found in sedimentary rocks are fascinating and they can show us so much about ancient creatures and plant life. But unfortunately, there is a downside with some of these rocks becoming fossil fuels and these fuels, when burnt, are contributing to climate change. A sedimentary rock, which is also a fossil fuel, is coal. But not all sedimentary rocks have such a bad association. 
Chalk is a very, very common sedimentary rock which is used in schools around the world and in lots of different industries. And of course, there is the famous Pyramids of Giza which are constructed of the sedimentary rock limestone. And I'm sure you've seen the Grand Canyon in America on lots of TV shows and movies. And it is filled with sandstone, another type of sedimentary rock. If this is your first time with my channel Learning English Pro, you're very welcome. My name is Jer and I'm the one narrating your lesson today. On my channel Learning English Pro, you will find an amazing range of English vocabulary videos on lots of different and interesting topics. So click the link on screen now to bring you to a selection of those videos and enjoy. Okay, let's get back to our lesson and our third and final category of rock. And it is metamorphic rock. Let's say that one more time. Metamorphic rock. Metamorphic rocks arise from the transformation of existing rock types in a process called metamorphism, which means change in form. The original rock is subjected to heat or pressure, which causes a profound physical or chemical change. Metamorphic rocks have been used in human culture for decoration in building for millennia. Some of the most noteworthy and beautiful works of art have been created with this type of rock. And probably the most beautiful is marble. Repeat after me, marble. Marble is very expensive, but it does give a beautiful finish to a statue or fireplace. Our next metamorphic rock is quartzite. And this is mainly used in construction in relation to floors, tiles on roofs, that kind of thing. It's a hard, durable stone with a nice colour. Another metamorphic rock which is also used in very much the same way is slate. This has a much darker appearance than quartzite and it's usually almost black or a dark grey. Okay, let's move on to our final metamorphic rock, which is phyllite. And like slate and quartzite, this is used in lots of different types of decoration around the home and garden. I really hope you enjoyed learning all about the different types of rocks. But now it's time to go back over all those highlighted words in our glossary. Okay, it might be a good idea to grab a pen and paper. Our first word is cooling and this word is a noun and the definition is the action or process of making or becoming less hot or warm. Our next word is a little tricky to pronounce. Solidification. Repeat after me. Solidification. This noun means the act or process of changing from being liquid or gas to a solid form. Our next word in our glossary is molten. And this adjective describes something that has been liquefied by heat. And this especially applies to rock or glass. Our next word is layer. And this word means a sheet, quantity or thickness of material typically one of several, covering a surface or body. Next up, we have mineral, which is a noun and it describes a solid, naturally occurring, inorganic substance. And our next word is a verb, accumulate. Accumulate means to gather together or acquire an increasing number or quantity of something. Our next word is pressure and we're using the noun definition of this word. And this means the continuous physical force exerted on or against an object by something in contact with it. Next up, our word is transformation. And this noun means a change in form, nature or appearance. Our next glossary word is process. And the noun definition of this word is 
a series of actions or steps taken to achieve a particular end. Our penultimate word is subject, and this is subject the verb. And as a verb, it means to cause or force something to undergo a particular experience or treatment. And our final word is profound. This adjective describes something which is very great or intense. And that's it. Well done. You've completed your lesson on rocks. And by watching this video, you have increased your vocabulary by over 30 new English words. So well done and congratulations. You've done really well. And thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate your support. It means a lot to me. If you enjoyed this English vocabulary lesson on rocks, you'll love my lesson on basic geography. Click the link on screen now to bring you to that video. And coming up on screen are even more video suggestions for you. And while you're still here, why not subscribe to my channel, like this video and share it with a friend. And I'd like to finish off by saying have a fantastic day and remember, keep learning English like a pro.